What is trauma? Trauma doesn't mean that I'm living in Brooklyn and my car was towed. Trauma doesn't mean that I missed my flight. That happened to me many times. <laughs> trauma doesn't mean I come to the airport and my luggage is not there. That has happened to me. Trauma does not even mean that I get a big bill in the mail and I don't know how I'm going to pay it. That's annoying. <laughs> it's painful. It's irritating. That's not trauma. Peter Levine once said, trauma is not what happened to you. Trauma is that which is still stuck in the body right now because it doesn't have an empathetic witness to contain it. Trauma are events or experiences or relationships in our life or the lack of them that caused us to actually experience impaired beliefs about ourselves, beliefs that affect parts of our brain, beliefs that cause us not to be able to be fully functional, not to be able to show up to life with all of our faculties, not to be able to be fully present. The brain has many different layers. We have the amygdala, we have the limbic brain, we have the prefrontal lobes. And what happens is with trauma, certain parts of our brain go offline, sometimes forever till we heal or sometimes frequently. And we can't respond with those parts of our brain. We can't have connection. There's the famous expression, you know, when your amygdala is triggered, it's basically fight or flight or freeze. You can't show up with emotion. Either I fight you, which looks like you're getting angry at your spouse, you're getting angry at your kids, you hate the world, or you run, you're a good guy. <laughs> Flight, you just run away. You run away emotionally for a month. <laughs> or you freeze, you don't even run, you just freeze. Because you're in a danger zone and your brain may be still responding to stimuli 20 years later from that space. You can't feel connected. TheYeshiva.net